A new effort was launched today to restore funds for a program designed to stop shootings and killings in Cincinnati. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is live downtown with new data that shows the importance of this effort. Tom? Well, Brendan, in the past 10 years, Cincinnati police figures show that 750 homicides have occurred, but over 30% of those remain unsolved. And of course, we know that SERVE, the Cincinnati Initiative to Reduce Violence, was established to try to prevent those killings and shootings. However, funding for that agency is now one quarter of what it was and what leaders say they need to succeed. Now, today was that was the main reason for the SERVE open house on Elder Street in the Over the Rhine. It's a free cookout for the neighborhood, but those attending were fed a message of nonviolence as well. They were also made aware of opportunities in jobs and housing to help change their lives. We need City Hall to know that uh, their tax dollars are being well spent. We're not sitting in, sitting in these offices not doing anything. We're out here in the community, touching uh, folks, touching the hardened criminals, trying to get them to change their life around. And so that's what this is about. Many at the open house talked openly of loved ones or friends who've been gunned down and vowed to work to try and prevent future killings. Now, serve right now, Brandon has five street advocates. When they had their full funding a year ago, they had 16. And many people I've talked with over the past several years say they were very successful in trying to prevent future crimes. Certainly, police would love to see that as well. Tom McKee reporting live tonight. The bus driver liked it too. Thanks.